she was trying to compare the knowledge that I've been giving her versus the knowledge that her brothers and her people was giving her, right? And it was it was on the world knowledge, like Black Lives Matter. I was telling her, like, man, that's not for us, because uh, they they was uh, putting Ice Cube on the forefront, like Ice Cube has you dealing with Trump, and you know what he said about Black Lives Matter. You know what I'm saying? Because he was saying Trump said he believed that that's a racist term. He said he he was like that's a bad name for for black people. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, and she was getting offended next to me, so I, I paused, like, hold on, don't get into that folly because that's cooner. Black Lives Matter has nothing to do with, about us. It's ran by uh, 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 gay Edomites, all right, no, and, and, and lesbian, uh, uh, lesbian, uh, it was three, like women. It was three, it was three lesbian and uh, uh, um, nigga women. Yeah, I'm gonna call them nigga women. Nigga women, women. Do I? And they no, they was Israelites. Oh, and they Right, and, and, and two, they against heterosexual men. Yep. So I was explaining that to her, like, that's not for us. Yeah, it's, and, only, it's, only, for hom it's only for homosexuals and uh, black men, so-called legal, uh, so-called black men, uh, homosexuals. Mm -hmm. That's what it's for. They do the, they do the men. Yep. And I was explaining it to her, too, like, right, and, and right, Tifa yep. is teamed up with them. Yep. And Tifa is a, 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 a militiary group mercenary group that's going to uh, help uh, kick off the war with them. And two, the reason why they're trying to use the name Black Lives Matter because black. Uh, Israelites are the main consumers of, 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 of America. You know what I'm saying? We're the ones buying all the jewelry, all the clothes, you know, high, high brand, high name stuff. We're the ones, the cars, things like that. So they know if they put Black Lives Matter, it's going to cause uh, Jake to say, like, I'm going to donate. And Jake, and Jake going to donate, but they're not jo donating to the cause they think they donating to. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Which is all confusion, man. And I, I was just, and I was like, and she was like, yeah, my brother said that. I'm like, no, check this out. Your brother may know that, but we we lined it up with scriptures, though. We don't just bring out the carnal sense of it. We lined it up with prophecy. That's the difference our brothers and, and how we come. And, and we've been doing this for a long time. And, yo, and she was like, yeah, my people know that. When I was like, well, they have fought there because now they had their talents under their neck. Well, they should be going out there and doing the work of the Lord, man. You know? Right. Yeah, you got it, brother. That's right, man. It's a difference, man. Don't compare us to people that know stuff in the world and try to say, yeah, I'll, yeah, such and such. No, we're not the same. Yeah. We landed it up with the scriptures, man. Yeah. With the spirit. Because the word is true. That's right. The world, exactly. the world don't got the truth. Exactly. Right, because the world going to keep a lot of the truth asleep. Uh, trouble, you know, um, start, man. Uh, yeah. These people want to get caught off guard. You know, uh, you got people out here playing a vacation in January. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, opposite. You know what I'm saying? It's going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Your mind, your mind is planning on a vacation in a place. You know what I'm saying? Well, chaos is going to kick off. You know what I'm saying? That's how you. That's how you know these people's minds are not right, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're not right, man. In their minds, man. They just walking around here in La La Land, man. <laughs> Dead, bro. It's like Jake in the yep. wintertime. You the only one with a coat on. You look around, why the fuck am I got no coat on? Right. I think you ain't cold, nigga. You don't know it's cold. Exactly, man. These people are bugged the hell out, man. <laughs> hey, I. Seven, he says, for the the mystery of iniquity do have already work. That's right. And you see it. Yeah. You see the fruits of what's going uh, uh who this man really is, man. It's being rebuilt. Because it, it was already, like I said, it, it already works because you know what I mean? What he's doing now, he's been doing in the past. Huh? You know what I mean? With the Romans. Yep. With the Greeks. Right. I mean, with, you know, the homosexual agenda, you know, stuff like that being passed. You know what I'm saying? You know, the protection of these, uh, these, uh, these, uh, uh homosexuals and, uh, you know, and all types of other wickedness, man, that's going on. Man. 
I got it. Hold on, let me finish reading this one verse. He says, For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Right, until, until, until the Lord come and take them out of the way. And the Lord is going to come take them out of the way. Shall I, shall I remove this man? <laughs> you shall be removed. And then shall that wicked, it's like it, and then shall the wicked be revealed, right. whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Which is the prophets, man. It is prophets with the spirit of his mouth. Uh -huh. First of all, going to consume with the spirit of his mouth, and then he's going to bring the onslaught. The onslaught is coming. That's right. Oh, yeah. Come. He say, uh, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's right, the chariots. Uh, the Lord will come out of the chariots. You know, laser beams. That's right. He says, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs of lying wonders. And lion wonders. Lion wonders. Because the scriptures did say yep. that uh, he's going to give the beast power to speak. And uh, uh, basically, it's going it's to get the people like, oh, shit. This beast going to perform miracles. You know what I'm saying? Which that RFID chip, man. The blue beam. You already doing it. Yeah. The Project blue, blue beam. Project yeah. blue beam. Yep. Yeah. Neuro Neurology, yeah. where people can put the chip in their brain. and Stem cells, clones. So it shows you don't call it do. They got these exoskeletons where they jump higher, run faster, because you actually uh, got a robot strapped to your body. So it's gonna allow you to blow off bigger weapons, run faster, be a AI technology. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They got those got uh, four-legged dogs, but it's like, it's like they're like dogs. Darker dogs. Yeah, darker dogs. They're gonna be unleashing that on the people. Robots, yeah. And you remember how it started? It started off as a toy. That little uh, uh, robo uh, dog. dog yeah. And we used to be looking at it when we was kids. I said, yeah, I want one. It come to you when you call it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It did everything a dog did. Yeah. I get this. You got, you got like robotic arms, just like power, powerful enough to like break through, break through rocks, yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. But to be uh, so sensitive to not smash a great. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. B I B L E? Yep. The B I B L E? Yes, sir. That's the book for me? Yes, sir. Come on, brother. <laughs> for sure. Can you tell me how to get to heaven from Wicker Park? <laughs> hey, we trying, man. Some people think this is heaven here. Some people think. Not quite. Yeah. Not at all. It's pretty, but not heaven. <laughs> funny, bro. So you have from a church, different church? Huh? Who brings you out here? Just preaching the word. Come on, brother. Mm -hmm. Spreading the gospel. Spreading the gospel. Come on, brothers. Where's your church at? Right here. I mean, do you have a regular church or anything? No, this is the church. You're down here preaching the gospel. Yeah, it's out preaching the gospel. I like it. <laughs> Can I get your picture? No I, pictures, I don't do please. Pictures, no, no pictures. No pictures. We are YouTube. You have YouTube? Yeah. I'm First Baptist Church in Hammond. I'm the minister of the Chicago land area. Do you want our YouTube address? You I want just our... came back for five hours to give the gospel out. Bible track. Type up uh, GMS. Yep, GMS. GMS. Come on, brothers. All right, man. Take you care. You got advice for a young 25-year-old guy? 
<laughs> Love you all. May the Lord Jesus richly bless you. All right, man. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Could be. Could be. Could be. Could be. Yeah, I yeah, I won't be rude. The second Thessalonians chapter two, verse uh, ten. He says, and with all deceivableness of Damn. unrighteousness. All deceivable deceivableness. All of it. <laughs> Everything about him is all it's all deception. Everything. That's why that's what we call a so-called white man a devil. That's the an devil. example. Yep. That's what an eat man would do. <laughs> but see, the thing is, we, we, we just, shit right away. We don't care about what the fuck you're talking about, really. But we're going to put on the image of, oh, yeah, okay, cool. That's why I was just thinking to, because you know Esau don't like talking to Jay. You know what I'm saying? But he got. He said, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness, he said, in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Mm. See, and that's really going into talking about our people, man, because they don't receive the truth, man. Two thirds of our people are gonna, you know, get destroyed, man, because they don't receive this uh, this gospel, man. You know, they're not they're not taking heed to the warning. You know, what I'm saying that's uh, that that uh, being preached in uh, out here in the highways and the byways, week in and week out. You know, what I'm saying they're not taking heed to the warnings. Hey, we we are actually news reporters. We're actually pointing out to them, man. You know, with the scriptures, man. You know, what I'm saying we're showing you what's going on in the scripture in this time and in this season. You know what I'm saying? What are they doing? They walking around talking about going to Disneyland. You know what I'm saying? For real. I've heard people recently say this shit, man. In my family. And I'm just looking at them like, I, I ain't saying, I ain't gonna say nothing, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what? It's a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? Because I've already been saying it. Saying it to them over and over and over again. Ain't no point in telling them nothing. You know what I'm saying? They just gotta find out, man. See? Instead of getting their houses in order, they going out here to be wicked and tricky, tricky, and all this madness. Saturday at that, so you know, yep. they, that's some wicked. Oh, people, oh, oh, they gonna be the women gonna Holidays. be out here sluts, whores. Oh, I yeah. just seen, I just seen something yesterday with a bunch of, you know what I'm saying, women on social media just already. They had one yesterday. They can't wait to have this wicked ass day, man. They can't wait to show off their bodies and be able to have an excuse to wear and do whatever the fuck they want to do, man. You know? Uh, verse 11. He says, And for this cause, Yahweh shall send them strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, one of the strongest lies is, you know what I'm saying, you a so-called African-American, American or, or uh, Latino or Native American Indian. Those are really strong delusions, and, and that everybody can make it. That, that the Lord came down here and died for the whole world. That's a really strong delusion, and that's what our people be getting uh, caught up in, man. They can't understand the truth because the Lord sent them a strong delusion, man. He said uh, that they might be damned who who believe not the truth, see, but have pleasure in unrighteousness. See that they gonna they gonna be damned, man, because they didn't believe this truth, man. Because they have pleasure, they, they have pleasure in unrighteousness, man. Like the brother said, and in, in, in Halloween, you know what I'm saying. This is a this is an unrighteous holiday, man. You know, they have uh, pleasures in um, smoking weed. You know what I'm saying, committing adultery, being wicked, man, murdering each other, man, being just being all kinds of uh, you know, that's what they got pleasure in, man. So that's why the Lord gonna destroy them, man. Uh, that's it. We got something to line back off with. Line God. back off with. This is Matthew 24 and 35. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. 
But of that day and hour knoweth no man, yeah. no not the angels of heaven, but my father only. And what he's speaking of is the his returning, right? He says, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Is that in Matthew 24? Mm -hmm. Because it's uh, Matthew 24 and 38. Yeah. It says, For as in the day that were before the flood, that were eating and drinking, marrying and giving and marriage. Right, they wasn't paying attention and taking heed to the warning. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father set up men in the four corners of the earth to come out here and, and give you the warnings. You know, to prophesy and tell you what's coming to this world so that you can have a chance to repent. This world right here, right now that you're living in, is on its way out. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't repent, you're going to get destroyed. You're going to get caught up in nuclear thermal fire. You know, and, and, and if you're paying attention to the food, you can see in time prophecy, World War III is about to happen, man. You know, this world is going to be, it is going to be destroyed by fire. But it's going to be destroyed by the nukes, the missiles that, that, that's going to be let out, man. By these other countries, especially over here in America. You know? That's, that's according to biblical prophecy, you know? Just imagine how, yeah. how crazy Noah looked to them when he was building the ark. Yeah. And they just walking past, talking smack to him. Noah, what you doing? And Noah explained it to him like, man, the Lord said he finna flood this place with water from the sky. Yep. And they like, Noah, you crazy. And years and years <laughs> going by as he built in the ark. Yep. Noah, we still ain't seen that rain yet. What's where that water that's supposed to yep. flood us from the heavens? Drinking and laughing and scoffing at him. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Until he finally finished it, and then the Lord was like, go gather two of everything clean, and then, I mean, uh, uh, everything, and seven of everything clean. You know what I'm saying? He actually went and doing that, and they like, no, what you doing now? Oh, the Lord said to gather some animals and put them up in the earth. And they still talk back, this nigga crazy. This nigga is losing it. You know what I'm saying? All the way until the, then it's going to say it. And then in the time of Jeremiah. Now, that's a good point, though. Yep. They told Jim, like, get your ass away from me. We're going to pursue our father pretty much. Because yeah. yep. everything doesn't always happen right away. Sometimes things takes, make, takes time to happen. Just like, to like how Esau's uh, gradually changing changing laws and manipulating laws to get his way. He's been planning this stuff for centuries. So what if we would have told one of our brothers for centuries to do it? in the 80s, in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? That's what they was teaching, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it, 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 look, hey, just 2016, you had uh, Nate and IURC scoffing at that, and everybody else, not even just Nate, but uh, uh, IUSPK, uh, uh, HOI, every, everybody that's in the know was scoffing, man. Yeah, they scoffing the RFID shit. Yeah. As it but it's still by, denying it. As it goes by, it, get, it, it just gets. Uh, That's because they knew the niggas wicked, man. They cry. You know, it's not. They don't want this place to be ended. They want to. They, they, they want to enjoy. You know what I'm saying? This wicked ass world, man. And they riches, man. That's why they are gonna burn up with, with that shit, man. And as time goes by, you know, it just gets more evident that it is the mar that, that that the chip is the mark of the beast. Hey, that's why the scripture says it's gonna be howling in the temple. Yep. Because the wicked people that that's. The shepherds over the uh, the simple ones, man, they they teaching them how to be even more simple. Right, because they're the blind. You know? the blind, the blind guys that set up. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to be the two thirds. You know what I'm saying? Them the blind, the blind guys, man. That uh, the Lord said to uh, the two thirds, man, to be destroyed. But bro, honestly, the common, the common two thirds, bro, the two thirds. <laughs> two -thirds. No, the common yeah. two thirds, bro. I see it, bro. My brother put a post on Facebook. He said. Hey, would you? He said, if if, if, if you if you could get five million dollars, uh, if, but you have to have the chip to claim to your hand, would you get it? Bro, one book is common like, I, I ain't taking the market of beast. Just common women, bro. Just common goers, like normal people. Like, I, I, I ain't taking the market of beast. That's why you know they have the fortune. Here's why the You know, they, they got they dark. If they, their eyes is not single, man. So how much darkness is within them, man? And, and, yeah. You know? Huh. It gotta be that way too because it ain't gonna be no excuse for you taking it. You know what? Also, I made a huge point. He said, like, he said, when those uh, troops come, it's gonna be intimidating. You know what I'm saying? But they use the military to uh, gather. A lot of those people are gonna be taking a 
that, that chip because they're going to be intimidated by that. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't got the, they ain't got the uh, spirit of the Lord, man. That's that's why they're going to end up, you know, breaking down. Yep. Intimidated you know? means scared. Yeah, they're going to be afraid, yeah. man. Or well, this for the kids. Yep. You know, kids. It's going to cause a lot of people to uh, err, man. Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Yeah. You see his day in that day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. See, that's the disrespect. That's, that's how you know they don't have to fear the Lord, man. man. They don't. That's how you know they don't believe in the prophecies, man. They don't believe in them. They just, this is, it's just a thing that they're doing so they can gain profit off of this, man. You know, because they starting to see like a lot of people is into it. It's like a trend, man. But um, if you read it, it says uh, verse uh, 38. Whereas in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the country of the son of man be. What, they have some fire, huh? Ooh! It's the same thing. You said that about Isaiah 11, uh, 4, 24? 24? It's a little more to this. It says, because this is, this is going to be the heartbreaking oh, part, right? Oh, read that last part again, Bob. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Matthew 24 and 39. Yeah. And knew not until the flood came. Right. And took them all away. Right, that's that's when they go. That's when they realized it, man. It, when it was too late, mm. when those uh, when those uh, the arc doors had closed up, and it was sealed, man. It, it was, I can imagine there was people screaming and hollering, scratching, trying to get on the ark. You know what I'm saying? But they couldn't. Stupid ass. Noah had to drown them out. He yeah. had to. He had to. Stupid ass. Because Noah probably would have wanted to open the door, yeah. but he couldn't. And that's how you know, like the Lord gonna have to put that spirit on us in that day, man. I mean, he couldn't open it because if he would have opened the water, would have came in and drowned and killed them. Exactly. That was a slow See? death too. Yep. Because imagine you seeing the water just. Yep. You just sitting there like, damn, we ain't know. The Lord's a terrible power. You sitting to think about it was a slow death. It was rain coming down from out of the sky and from the uh, from a uh, from beneath. Yeah, because right. it was the breaches was being breached. Yep. The, uh, no more for the for the ocean, the sea. So now you got you got. Leviathan and the rest of the uh, you Church. know, monsters in the oceans, alligators pulling their ass down, eating their ass. Hey, the scripture <laughs> says that the, that Noah had to send a bird out to to uh to check to see when the land was dry, and the bird got tired real quick and came back because it wasn't even no trees for it to land on, man. The, the water was a and you and you gotta imagine the stature of the earth was so much greater, man. So them trees had to be like mountains, bro. That's how you know the trees was tall as hell. Yeah. A bird couldn't even land on it, bro. He, the bird went out there and came right back like, oh, nigga, ain't nothing out there. <laughs> ain't, nothing me, ain't nothing out there, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, but that's how it's going to be. Like, the Lord is giving you, uh, 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 comparing that time to this time. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't gonna take that. They ain't gonna take heed to the warning, man. Come. And they're gonna get caught up, man. And the chariot, gonna, the chariots of the Lord gonna be here, oh, just beaming up the elect of the nation of, of, of Israel, man. And these people are gonna be sitting there, looking stupid, like, man, the chariots gonna take off. And, they, and when them chariots take off, man, then that's when that, that's when uh, the fire start raining down out of the sky, destroying this place. You know what's gonna be crazy? Yep. This, this said it, yep. and this is what's gonna happen. Yep. Because the moment they see in the person next to them getting beamed up, that's when that gut feeling gonna hit them like, oh my God, yep. no. That's they gonna have to feel that shame it's first, gonna, bro. It's gonna be like the life been left out of them before they even died, man. You know, that's why, man. man. Uh, nuclear missile alarms. Uh, uh, America's under the attack. Man, bro. America's under the attack. Impact within an hour. You Ooh. Here go right here, brother, because y'all see it. It's the spirit, Countdown too. Countdown to destruction. <laughs> Countdown to the Matthew 24 and 40. Then shall two be in the field, and one shall be taken, and the other left. Yep. Huh? So imagine you just in a grocery store or somewhere, or wherever you at, man. And, and you know, people that was that was with you, or they knew that you knew the whole time. Get beamed up right before they face, man. said that sure knew that was a what? Huh. It says two women shall be grinding at the mill, one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye know not the hour your how it doeth come. The Lord come. So man, just imagine, man, like imagine the people that knew you knew. 
It could be family members, man. And they was like you said, he he like they playing the Disney trips and shit. And he like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You steady telling them now when that day they probably be right next to you. Right. They preparing for and the Lord room. be like, Phew. right. They 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 preparing for what? things. They preparing for something that they don't have no control over. You don't have no control over time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You don't even have to. You don't even know if you're gonna make it. You know what I'm saying? Out of this day you in. You know what I'm saying? That's what's crazy about these people, man. They don't really consider the most high in the sun. That's they don't scary. consider nothing, man. That's scary, man. It, it is, man. And it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. It's, it's heartbreaking. Because here it is. The Lord is showing you that the end time is here. Man. He's showing you with this coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? How everybody in the world is walking around with masks on their face. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. It's people losing their jobs worldwide, man. The economy is being affected, man. The scriptures say that the grinding is going to come to a cease, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, man, this currency in your pocket, the American dollar, it's worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? Pretty soon, it's just going to be some paper on the ground, man. Have you, hey, we've all probably come from church backgrounds. You have to go yeah, to a church, just man. Just like the these leaves, right, come. You have to go to a church and, uh, you know, as, as the congregation start praying because they feel like the pastor touching them in the, in the sentimental spot when you teach it, and you just hear the, the cries in the church. Imagine everybody in your in the na next to you, just everybody in the city, just crying, man, weeping, man. Everybody hurt, like, oh no, that that great that great moan, man, that's gonna come from the earth, man. Imagine that, the and tears yeah. coming, people breaking down on their knees, just no strength in them at all, man. Uh, you know what? And that's it. That's it. The scriptures for a reason. It's in yeah. the scriptures so that uh. So that you can kiss the sun, you know what I'm saying? He's mad at you, so you can get yourself together, man. Man, that's that's terrible. That's scary, man. And he, and like you said, that nigga said Jacob's trouble gate. All right, nigga, we'll see in that day. Right. And yeah, he gonna be one of them, them dudes who get caught up uh, when, uh, when the scriptures take when they not trying to read it. Hey, we gotta pray for that mercy, man. This Boy, is gonna make him bite his own. Like, no, it's gonna, gonna make him bite his own word. He's like, okay, you said that. He gonna eat his own word. He gonna eat your own word. Yeah, it's gonna be a big ass missile coming right toward his dumb ass if he don't repent, man. He the same, probably one of the same dumb ass niggas that tried to yep. uh, kill Paul, man, and said let the, let let it be on our kids. If we don't, if, let us not eat. Let us. What? Uh, no, they said that about you. I was shy. Yeah, yeah. They huh. said they said let, let his blood be on us. I mixed two of them. You know what I'm saying? And that, <laughs> they said we would not eat nor drink. Now he said. Now they said that about Paul. They went on. Yeah. The, uh, they went on the. Uh, the uh, what, what, they, what, they, what they call it? A starve. Um, starving oak. Or something. I forget yeah. what they said it is. Yeah. This is a uh, 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 First Thessalonians chapter five, verse three. You get to the point. He says, "So when they shall say peace and safety." And sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yep. Not escape. yep. Hey, you're going to say peace and safety. You're going to be out here partying, you know what I'm saying, enjoying life, thinking you're going to Disneyland, you know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, man, sudden destruction is going to come upon you, man. And they ain't going to be no, nowhere to run. You ain't going to be able to run from Chicago to Indiana. You ain't going to be able to go to uh, from Florida to South Carolina or Georgia. You know, to try to escape the destruction. Because guess what? It's going to be happening everywhere. The destruction is going to be on in every in every part of this country. Every part in the world, man. It's got to happen that way, man. You know what I'm saying? For the, new, for the kingdom of heaven to come, man. The Lord is going to purge this place, man, of all wickedness, man. He's going to purge purge all the wickedness out of the earth. And he's going to do it with, a, with a, 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 the best cleaning agent, you know what I'm saying, out here, which is fire. Man, damn devil. That's hey man, you're going in slavery, man. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you know they, they kingdom is done, man. You know they they can stop, and they know it's done. That's yep. why they stopping by, like man. They Ooh. want to hear, but they don't want to hear. It's like a uh, a dude that want to see if his girl cheating on him. He, he's looking, yeah. And he's like, oh, he feel bad when he when he find out the news. He's hurt. <laughs> it's all good, man. <laughs> That's like how Esau lives, like he want to hit, but he don't want to hit. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let them smoke and have fun and laugh. Smart watch the area either, buddy. This is probably their last week of bad and shit. Yeah, I'm going to go to the first part of that bitch. I'm going to buy a G5 and so the skies. Because, man, sleep as many black women as you can right now. Because the kingdom boys ain't going to have none. You got some money. <laughs> I'm going to get enough paint. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, 11? No, just keep going. Let's go. I just grabbed it, bro. Oh, I thought that was 6. Are oh, you left off? Yeah. Isaiah 24 and 6. Therefore, hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwelt therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. The new wine mourneth, and the vine languishes. All the merry hearted do sigh. That new wine, that new doctrine that you, that you, that you live with now, are the living, what's that, what's that new doctrine? YOLO. YOLO, that living my best life, that <laughs> enjoy life while you got it, life too short to be worried about. That, that new wine, that languishes, that shit weak now. <laughs> Therefore, that shit weak. Hey, cause it's, they face, they forced to face reality now, yeah. man. Hey, you saw putting these curfews on them, shutting down these clubs. They ain't got nothing to do but look in the, look at what the hell's going on. They just shut Chicago down. Again? Yeah. Yeah, they shut all the restaurants down. You can't, they, down. yeah, you can only eat outside. All the rest, you can't eat inside. All that shit is shut down all over again. Just long lines in the winter, Jake. And they gear you up to get into that mind state to stand in the long lines. Yep. Wait for food. Wait for food. Like you said, gradually. Yeah, they yeah. gradually. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause they also doing this too. They prepping for uh, November the third. Oh, they got the National Guards yeah. ready, man. The reserves. Hey, a checkpoint to enter in and out the city. Cause I was just uh, I was listening on the radio, and the radio uh, uh, jockeys was even saying that like anybody that's from Indiana coming to Chicago. They got to, uh, uh, well, coming from Chicago from Indiana, they got to do 14 days of quarantine because Indiana uh, is spiking with the uh, pandemic out this, out this way. That's how you know, man. So anybody from Chicago, if they know, that's why they're going to have them National Guard side. Checkpoints. Where you from? Stop with people car. Where you going? Wait, you ain't going to be able to enter in and out? Oh, man. Yeah. Verse 8, the mirth of the tab of Caesar, mm. the noise of them that rejoiced in it. That's right. That's the joy of the heart, Caesar. That joy of the heart, boy. So I don't no more, no more going out having a good time. Ain't no more, ain't no more gonna be uh, partying, all that clubbing. Mm. Having this right now, I'm pretty sure it's hella, hella Halloween parties going on right now. You know? Uh, yep. But all that shit gonna, man, that shit, bro. Imagine looking at the looters, right? It's gonna be that times 10, times 100. You gonna, over here, you gonna see a bitch get raped. Over here, you gonna see a nigga get stabbed up. Over here, you gonna see a nigga get gunned down. Over here, you gonna see three. The scripture says you gonna desire to see another man in that day. Because uh, yeah. you know why? The people that's gonna be out there ahead, they're gonna be by themselves. Yeah. So they're gonna, they gonna be surviving by themselves. They're gonna be like, damn, I wish I had somebody. To, exactly. Okay. Trying to trying to escape the persecution, man. We're going to be like castaways talking to a fucking coconut. So a lot of Jake's going to get caught up in the concentration and they're going to be shipping their ass off to World War III. Yep. Go. Go. Go, go your ass to World War III. Yeah. You, you, want, you, you want to survive in society? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you going to go join our military. Or the space stations. They're going to be shipping them out there to the concentration camps in the space stations. Making them work. Oh my God, bro. Man. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Right, they shall not drink wine with a song anymore. It's gonna be bitter. You go. It's gonna be drinking and crying. Man, give drink, strong drink to him who's ready to perish, man. Right. Cause that's what's gonna be happening that day. They're gonna be trying to drink themselves to death. Another thing gonna be a lot of suicides. Oh yeah, of course. That's gonna happen right they when the economy collapse. Yeah, motherfuckers yeah. gonna be blowing their damn brain. Drinking. Well, eat them. <laughs> Drink it to bitterness. Either we're going, the time you gonna crash, either we're gonna take a leap off the, off the building. Take a leap. Take a hike. The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. So the city of confusion, man, it's Babylon. The word of Babel is going to my ball, which means confusion. And this is the confusing city, man. The city of confusion is broken down. The gates are smitten with destruction and no man may come in. Uh, it says the gates are smitten with destruction. You know, and then it said every house is, is uh, shut up that no man may come in. So it's gonna be looking like the Walking Dead, man. Every house gonna be shut up so that you can't come in and take my shit. You know, man, brother. Doors gonna be getting kicked in. You know what I'm saying? 
And then now, nobody is ready for this personally, really. No. Hey, that's why we gotta stay, stay uh, 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 to the, uh, close to the Lord, man. Uh -huh. We gotta really stay close to the Lord. We, we coming up on a time when we really, really gotta depend on our Lord. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's gonna be hell out here, man. joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. The mirth of the land is gone, man. All the joy yeah. is darkened. It's only it's going to be the dead Jacob's trouble, man. Yeah, All right. Yeah. And the city is left destruction, and the gate is smitten with destruction. That's right, man. The gate is smitten with destruction. If, it don't, if this don't make you afraid, man, I don't know, man. Really, because are we coming up on that right now? God. You know what I'm saying? This That's, that's what's actually coming up. The Even, mirth the mirth gonna be ain't gonna be no more partying and having a good time, man. If you don't know what mirth the mirth means, ain't gonna be no more kicking it. Yeah. You know, no more girls' night out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No more folly, man. No more shopping spree. No more good times. No more good times. Even Ezra yeah. said it. He said, "Whoa, whoa, it's me. Who shall deliver me in that day?" Yeah. That's a prophet, bro. A man that the Lord found worthy enough to tell his secrets to, and he was even like, man. I don't know how the fuck, how the fuck I'm gonna get out this man, man, bro. Daniel was sick, bro. Daniel was sick. Yeah, Even Israel, he was scared, bro. Like, man, and that was two thousand thousands of years ago, bro. Thousands. So how much more now? I said, well, uh, yeah, for what is it to them? Man, you don't want that day, cause but we do, we do want it, cause we want this shit over with. But you don't want it because you don't know what they expect in that day, man. Right, because hey, because even the men of the Lord are the one uh, uh, hoping for mercy from the Lord. Huh. You know what I'm saying? You hoping that the Lord don't tell you to get from me, get from me. You work up a iniquity I never knew. Huh. You know what I'm saying? That's what you. That's the last thing you want to hear. But your leg was in vain. But you know what? That's why. See, ain't no excuse because that's why Peter also said, uh, um, "Make your calling of election sure." See, you got to make your calling of election sure. So basically, you got to, you know, uh, man, you know, constantly be in this thing, man, to make it a sure thing so you can get built up. That Paul said, if a man run it the race, but he's not run it, run it at all. Right, huh? you got to endure to the end. You got to endure. Don't you run to win? Huh? Huh. Well, go ahead. Uh, you got some more in there for yeah. brother. It should be like you said. It should be like chicken with an outfit. Yeah. That's, that's uh, verse 12. And the city is left desolation, 